Hey, 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 everybody, welcome and thank you for tuning in. Before we get started, I just want to do a shout out to uh, the sponsor that sponsored me. It was a one-off sponsor sponsorship for this this race. It was Kaizak Powder Coating. I just want to say a huge thank you to that small business because without them uh, giving me that one-off sponsorship to get down to this race, I would have never achieved uh, what I did on the track. I wouldn't have been able to go because I wouldn't have been able to fund myself. They are amazing people. Uh, their work is amazing as well. They've powdered my one of my chassis before and it was just, it was 150% better than the factory powder. So definitely if you have time, uh, look them up because they, they just do amazing work for everything. It doesn't have to be carding, anything powder wise, they do absolutely amazing work. I also want to give a huge thank you to, uh, he didn't sponsor me, but he's been looking after me since I got back into carding, and that's uh, Scott at High Talk Engines. He makes, or he builds, the best engines without a doubt. I, I, I did go to Troy uh, once, and I just, I immediately went back to Scott at High Talk because just the way he helps me at track and just how he builds his engines it just works for me I've never had an issue with um, him building my engines so definitely once again if you have time uh, look him up send him a message because he just does amazing work with engines um, I wouldn't say so otherwise but at the race so this is the finals starting last again uh, we went around a second time because I I agree, we were going a bit too fast, but I mean, I was still in a good position to get a jump, but I played it a lot smarter in the finals. I knew it was a long, long finals, 14 laps. I knew I just had to play smart. Um, I wasn't as aggressive as what I was in pre-finals. I knew if I just took at least one person per lap, I'd be at the front of my field. So we do get the green light here, played it smart. Uh, just waited at the back because I knew there might be some carnage. I might be able to slip through um, In saying that though, I get a good jump on these two guys and On this straight here. I'm like why not? Let's just go three wide in, in the <laughs> in the first corner or in, in the in, in the last straight corner, so um, That was an amazing pass to, to start off my confidence for the finals. It is a it is a, a long long race so definitely watch the whole thing, watch it to the end, there are some great passes, some good battles, and enjoy.
baby. Didn't think I'd be back, but for this big of a race, I had to come back to the end of the commentary. We're on lap 10, four laps to go. This guy in front of me is first in my class. I had a, I had a tough time trying to catch back up to him because at the beginning of the race, I was like, yeah, that's fine. We'll just take our time, take our time, take our time, pass one person each lap at least and, and hopefully gain. Well, I came up to like, there was like five laps to go. I was like, oh, I'm getting a bit scared now. And finally got into second in my class and I just had to gun this guy down. And I was pushing, I was pushing, but I was thinking smart on not overdriving the car. And we're finally here, boys. We're on his tail. I was like, my heart was pumping. I was like fogging up my mic, uh, my mic. I was fogging up my visor. I was like hyperventilating. I was like, come on, stay, stay focused, Michael. Just, you know, one, one corner at a time. Don't overdo it. Don't overthink it. Don't try and pass him where you don't think you can get him. And we get the, we get the crossover and we get the pass, baby! Heck yeah. Three laps to go. We got the pass. We're in first. We just have to hold first in my class. We just have to hold this position. I was like, my heart was pumping even more now. I was like, okay, I just have to hold this now. Don't make any mistakes. He's right behind you. Don't look back. Just focus in front of you and just hold it. And I was like, it felt like everything was just perfect. Like it felt like the engine was just running smoothly. The, the car, even though the car was still bent, it just felt like everything was on rails. Like it just felt so good. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't miss an apex. I felt like I couldn't, couldn't break in the wrong position. I felt like I couldn't turn in the wrong, like wrong time. It all just felt so smooth. And there's something I was just about to say. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I forget. I'm shooting blanks. But all I was just thinking was, I just have to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. And we're coming on to this last lap here and at the end of this corner I, I overshot it a little bit I panicked and I went very wide I was like as soon as you go wide there because the track is still a little green as soon as you go wide there you just lose grip and so at this point I was like okay well let's just calm it down a bit I, I, like I think I had a little look back and I had a bit of space on it I was like let's just calm it down still push but don't overdo it and at the end, you're gonna, you, you might be able to, if you, if you really listen, you might be able to hear some screaming coming out of my helmet. I was just so over the moon, like I was just so happy that I pushed this. Did you hear it? I don't know if you heard it, but I was, I was screaming in my helmet. But I was just so over the moon. I was like, I had the worst weekend, but I was able to, at the end, still keep a level enough head and keep the cart on the track to just do what I do best. And we get the black plate, we get first. I'm just so, so happy. Thank you for watching it all. Subscribe, enjoy the next races.